let's, let's just make this question. Okay. So you can see here the highest power of x you're going to get out of this expansion will be 6. The highest power of x here will be 5. So therefore, when you put them together, the highest power will be 11. Right? Um, therefore, you pick a number, less than 11. 7. Sure. Okay. Now, I am going to need a little bit of space. We'll get there. Okay? I'm going to write down uh, what is this thing going to give me, and then what is this thing going to give me, but I'm only going to look for the particular ones that will give me a combination that I want. Okay? So, here's what I mean. Um, see this thing here, right? 3 minus x to the power of 6, okay? I am actually going to get in my head what will the expansion of this thing be, okay? So this is going to be, uh, let's see, I'm on the sixth row of Pascal's triangle, so that times uh, these guys times these guys. There's my very, very first term, is that okay? And then I'm going to say uh, the next one, 3 to the 5, one less of those, one more of those, that's fine, okay? Um, have I got enough yet? No, I'm gonna do another one. So the next term is 62. Um, this, get, this gets a bit boring, but at least it's not hard, okay? I know exactly the structure of a binomial. Um, and then, oh, um, I'm gonna do, yeah? Two, sorry. Um, okay. You know how, um, when it's like a minus in the binomial, mm -hmm. you know how like it's like, every like second number is, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's, like you can just like, to stop yourself getting confused, you can just put the brackets around the minus x. Just like it's I've just, done it. So well, easy. that's that's the brackets around the minus are exactly why you have alternating signs, right? Because you see this one, how many negatives are going to end up in that term? None. None. How many negatives are going to be here? One. One, so it'll be a minus. How many negatives are here? Well, there are two, which cancel out, which is why it comes back to plus. Okay. All right, I'm going to write another term. 3q to minus x. Okay. Um, okay, now, dot, dot, dot. I, I can continue, right? But I'm going to pause there. This is what happens when I expand this left hand side, or the left hand binomial. When I expand the right hand binomial, what happens? What am I going to get? Which row am I on? I'm on the fifth row. The first one is the zeroth term. Uh, what have I got here? 4 to the 5, x to the 0. 1, 4 to the 4, x to the 1, 5 to 2, 4, this is counting down, okay, dot, dot, dot. Okay, now think about this with me for a second. What will be the last term in each of these? Have a look at this one. I've gotten up to the third one, what will the last one be? It'll be, no, I've got to do the binomial bit first, so I think it's 6, C, 6. By this time, the threes have been counted down. Six, five, four, three. What will the last one be? Zero. And then how many negative x's will I have? I will have all of them. Okay. In the same way, the last term that you're going to get here will be 5c5. How many fours will I have? None of them. And how many x's will I have? All of them. Okay, good. Now, you're looking for the x to the seven terms. What you're doing is you're multiplying this whole series of objects by this whole series of objects. Okay? Now what each one is doing is it's searching for a partner. Okay? So have a look at this guy for instance. I'm looking to see this guy will multiply by every single thing here. Will any of the pairings that it makes, will any of those pairings result in an x to the 7 term? Now, you're going to look at the powers. You see this power is 0. There are no x's here. So it's going to have to match up with an x to the 7 term over here. But there isn't one. I ended x to the 5. So you're like, this guy, he's a dud. you dead to me. Okay? He will not contribute any x to the 7s. I have a look at this. How many x terms are there? One. It's just the 1. So he's searching. He's pairing up with an x to the 6. That'll give you an x to the 7. But is there one? Answer no. So he's also useless. Finally, you get to this guy and you're like, oh, there's two x's here. If he can pair up with someone that's got five x's, that'll give him an x to the seven. And there he is right there. You see that? So therefore, I have the first component, right? The x to the seven term, the term which only has x to the sevens in it, 
it's going to start like this. It's going to go 6c2, 3 to the 4. Uh, I know it's going to have x. I'll write the whole thing so I don't get confused with signs. Okay? This one will match up with this guy. 5c5, 4 to the x to the 5. You can see where the x to the 7 is going to come from. Okay? That's one of them. <laughs> this guy, we've dealt with him. Okay? He makes a pair. Is he going to make an x to the 7 term with any other term in here? Answer, no, because he needs this exact power. Then I look at the next guy over. Is he going to find someone? Yes. Answer, yes, the one just before this. It will be, so he, which is 6c3, 3 cubed, negative x cubed. He will pair up with the previous term, which I haven't written, but I know exactly what format it will be. It will be 5c4, 4, 4 to the 1, yes. x to the 4. Okay. And then I'm going to keep going. I've dealt with his. I will deal with the next one, the next one. Will this guy be able to find someone to pair up with? Yes. It will. That one. Right? So then I'll pair these guys up. That will be my turn. Okay? Uh, this is not a quick question. Okay? Because there are lots of terms that pair up to make x to the 7. And you have to include all of them. So there's but that's five how you terms, right? Yeah, yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly right. So you just solve all of them. And then after you solve all of them, you just want to add it all together. And after you add it together. The so this is not a particularly elegant, it's, I, wouldn't, I would not pose this as a question because you can get the concept but then it just takes you 10 minutes to bash out the darn thing, right? And that's not what we're assessing. I'm trying to assess, can you pick the terms? Can you identify what these things are going to do with each other? Like once you've done that, I'm satisfied. I, I would much rather craft a question where rather than, as you pointed out, we're going to have this many combos, two's enough. If you get two, I can see you know what you're doing there. I'll stop there.